My name is Gail and I'm coming to you from Laconia Public Library with some middle school book talks for kids. These books are all from the Great Stone Face Book Award, which if you are in fourth, fifth, or sixth grade, you can vote on next year, next April or May, depending on what we have going on in the world. And these are all great books to vote on. You're gonna like all of them, just like last week's. So the very first one is Tito the Bone Crusher. The only thing I wanted this book to be different about was with this cover and this title, I wanted this to be a graphic novel because look, it would have a graphic, beautiful picture of Tito. Tito's a wrestler and he's also an action figure. And Oliver really admires Tito the Bone Crusher, the wrestler. He also really likes the, um, doo -doo -doo, the action figure. So he believes in Tito. And this book is by Melissa Thompson. And all three of the, the kids in all of these books all have family issues to take care of. Oliver's is how to save his family. He's just moved to a new school. That's not the biggest problem. In, in middle school and his sisters turned into the queen grouch of the world and he really really needs to solve the biggest problem which is his father's going to prison for something he didn't do is tito going to help him he's going to try to get tito to help him is that going to happen is his father going to prison is his sister going to ever be nice to him again is tito going to help Read Tito the Bone Crusher and find out all these important answers. You'll love it. Oops. Um, and the next story, also love this story. Read it in two bathroom reads. If you know me well enough, you'll know how much time that was. Um, this is Slip of a Girl by Patricia Riley Giff, one of my favorite authors. I love her books. She writes a lot about Ireland, where her family is from. Um, in this book, Anna is surviving the land wars of Drummish, and this took place in 1881. Um, Anna and her family are very poor. Um, the, the landlords are taking everybody's land and trying to oust all of the Irish families. And really all they have is their potato harvest and it's not a good harvest and things. So she is trying to save her family. She and her father, they can't really do a great job with this because they have nothing and they have to pay the rent. They just don't know what to do. What does Anna do? Oh, she also has a, a sister with a huge disability and she promised her mom or ma'am that she would take care of her sister. But maybe you can't always keep your promises. Anna has to go find work to buy her farm or to pay for her, her rent and dad has to help and there's an uprising and what's going to happen to their family farm? All those things in little slip of a girl. I have to tell you, I love the ending and it gave me goosebumps. It's such a good read. Enjoy. And the last one made me cry all the way through it. Loved the ending. Great story. It's called Stay. Anybody with a dog would like this story. Anybody. Anybody that sees that you need to help other people and other animals and the world, this is the story for you. If you have a kind heart, read this book about Piper, whose family just moves into a shelter. They don't know what to do. Piper's trying to survive. And she goes out with some friends that she just makes and she finds Jewel, a homeless old woman who's very sick, and her dog, Baby. How can she help them when she has nothing? She and her family have nothing. How can she help? She sure can. Gonna love it. Bring your tissues. Enjoy all of these books, have a great time, and I'll be telling you about more soon. Take care, see you soon.